Oh, hi guys. Good morning. Today is February 1, 2022. Welcome back to my channel. This is Jonah from Crops and Succulent. How is everybody? What you get, what you're seeing on my table is uh, Euphorbia caput medusa or medusae based on the on my Google. So this plant is with me for two years and a half. I got hair very small, but my, my big mistakes is uh, when she's growing, I put her on a big, big terracotta pot. Then, uh, in short, I just neglect her. Because I said, okay, one time she, she blooms yellow flowers and then all of a sudden it's gone. So Mike, <laughs> this is Mike's favorite. So I decided to get these two pots. One, two. They are a uh, dollar ninety nine in Armstrong. But this one I repotted a few days ago, off camera. So I said, okay, let me introduce you two to the to the group. So I put her here. She's outside. I just wanna. So I, and at the same time, I changed the soil. I I put the soil that I'm using in uh, rain gutter. So I'm sure she will grow more and become more lush. So another project that I the project really. <laughs> She's not really, let me move the camera slowly. Uh, Medusa's head is not really our project today. Our project is this one. This is a Chiberia pink rose. I got also in Armstrong. It's in six inches, but 10.99. I got her maybe more than a month ago. I feel bad I don't have the chance to the butter so now I noticed that she has uh, three babies one two three and there are more inside so the soil is still the same because no chance really to repot so she's growing I don't know to me it looks like bread ivis echeveria bread ivis I, I google a lot she looks more than that looks uh, Echeveria bread ibis. I hope it's Echeveria bread ibis, but it's here. It says here Echeveria pink rose. So I don't know. Do I need to believe what I'm seeing here? Or do I need to believe on the Google? I don't know. You guys can give me the comments. Uh, comment below and tell me what plants is this. Let me focus. So, because uh, she's the star today. All right, see you. Oh, hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. This is Jonah. Again, I'm introducing myself. So how is everybody? I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, it's getting better. Um, the weather is, uh, let me see, 60 degrees outside. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, February 1, 2022. No, February, wow. So uh, we need to keep going. So this is uh, another terracotta pots. I didn't buy this. I just uh, clean it. My old uh, terracotta pots, I clean it and then I put mesh. This is the mesh tape. Somebody sibing is asking in uh, Lola's living, uh, what mesh tape I, I, I'm using. This is the mesh tape and then I got it in uh, in Amazon and then my scissor I'm gonna trim that plants uh, I already clean it with uh, alcohol 70% plus my tools already clean wash and clean so what's the benefits of cleaning the tools let me tell you it prevent uh, bacteria to enter to the plants that you're gonna trim and uh, you know even the, the pots, the, uh, the old pots, I, I soak them in a little Clorox and soap and hot water for a couple of uh, maybe 30 minutes and then wash it, wash it thoroughly. 
take out all the the creams and the you know whatever is the the the, the dust the whatever the the soil inside the old soil so now they're clean the benefits is you will see with your plants your plants will be healthy and you will uh, thrive very well because their containers is clean and healthy too okay let's start So this one is uh, with, uh, I put pumice and perlite, one on the top are some perlite here, and then, by the way, here we go, I dedicate this video to all of you, to all my friends that keep watching, thank you so much, and then, uh, She's been a friend of mine for a long time. From the time we started YouTube, I uh, she or he, she or, correction, she found me in YouTube and then we became friends. Her name is Lynn, Lynn Cruz of Pats and Succulents. She lives in Australia with her loving family and then she loves succulents. She loves, uh, she loves arrangement. So Lynn, this is for you. So finally, it's your turn. Uh, like I said, I don't, uh, it's randomly. I, I mention your name, whatever the plants uh, will, will benefit from endorsing someone, you know, to know you. So I hope, uh, please visit her, her channel, Pots and Succulents. This is uh, Lynn Cruz. She's a sweet, sweet lady. We've been friends for a long time, a long time. She even asked me, do you think we can get a... I need, sorry, I need to tell the story. Do you think we need... Uh, Jonah, do you think we need to... to uh, we can get 1,000 subscribers? And then my response, of course, we need to encourage each other. Oh yeah, we can, we can. Well, let's do the best, whatever. So that's the history. So now she's uh, she's on that category. She she's very friendly. She's very supportive. So visit her channel. You will learn a lot from her from her channel. So this one is my struggle. Is this Echeveria pink rose? Look at look at that. Look at that. Or uh, I got this in uh, Armstrong. It says here Echeveria pink rose. So. Uh, let me know. Maybe Cheveria Pink Rose and maybe Fred Ives. I don't have Fred Ives as well. <laughs> I'm longing to be with a Fred Ives. Okay, so uh, the soil seems good, healthy. But still, I'm gonna take out some soil and we will harvest the baby. That's why I got this. Uh, we'll harvest the baby. But like I said, I always change the soil. I learned this also from someone if the soil looks... Uh, and then uh, my plants, this plants has been with me uh, for a couple of... I think I got it uh, November. If I'm not wrong, it's it's too many plants. <laughs> so, and uh, I want to... I, I gave attention to her. I noticed that, oh my goodness, there you have already babies. So we'll harvest the babies. How to harvest the babies. There is baby more on the lower portion. I hope this is spread ibis too. So I have spread ibis. I've seen it to multiple uh, friends of mine. The spread ibis so beautiful. Especially friends in Australia. Be careful not to damage the, the roots. So we'll just do like this. Okay, hold on, my leaves. <laughs> Here. Oh, there you go. I got it. I got it. <laughs> she delivered the babies too. 
one, two, but I want to separate them. I think I can't, huh? I can't, they're connected. So we're going to put her on a, on one pot. So where's the other one? I thought there are three. Oh yeah, there are three here. They're like uh, triplets. See, see, they're like triplets. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put like this, huh? Okay. So there's more babies here on the bottom part, but I'm not gonna harvest. It's still uh, in progress. <laughs> it's like a first trimester in human. Okay, so. The soil is wet. I mean moist. So you can do like this. You can uh, squeeze, squeeze. I'm not gonna harvest, uh, I'm not gonna propagate right now. I'm not gonna trim uh, or get uh, leaves on the bottom because uh, I don't wanna give too much stress. We just repot and then harvest the baby. So let's do this. So my soil more here. Oh, by the way, I just watched uh, Lynn's uh, video today and then, uh, she's teaching about uh, how to benefit in our hobbies and by, by propagating and at the same time by, by uh, selling someday. Take care of them and then sell them. I'll go on that soon. <laughs> Like, I don't know how soon, but soon. A lot of people are asking me to, they can buy. Like the one that, of course, such models that I use, that I used in the last video. Uh, Kaylin is my grandniece. And then uh, Vivian is the friend of my grandniece, the sister of uh, Kaylin, Diana. Diana is selling uh, cookies in that event that that uh, location is in uh, Pasadena. You see them that the, the models are close to the windows, open windows, uh, the windows. So that's in Pasadena. So we'll do that one day. A lot of I've seen a lot of people selling their their product, their plants and other items so we'll do that one day guys <laughs> will okay this is done so i'm just gonna put this off camera so to limit the time and then uh, let me show you how will i repot so that's the way how to harvest the baby the babies so don't take out the, the the one close to the mother because uh still uh in short it's still in progress okay guys so this is it i'll just put those uh toppings and let's do this this one has already mashed tape inside we're not gonna use the soil from the old one Like I said, I don't throw the soil. I'll throw the soil. Other people, they, they, they throw it. No, I throw the soil, it's proven. I, I throw the soil when, it, when the plants is invaded by, uh, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, I burp, excuse me. Uh, it's, uh, when the soil is invaded by, uh, by mealybugs. Okay, this is it too. Alright guys, I'll see you in the reveal. Thank you so much and I hope you like the video. And like I said, this video is dedicated to everybody but my my reflection to and my gratitude to Lynn, a friend of mine from uh, Australia. Uh, kindly visit her channel 
and we will learn a lot. Thank you so much, guys, and uh, see you, and uh, God bless, and see you on the next video at the same time. Stay safe, and always remember God loves you, and Jonah loves you too. Bye.